Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 7 of our Stalker Gamma Ecologist run. Last time, we started out in Yantar. We went to that city and set up our base there, as uh, the two guys requested. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we did some missions around that city, mainly the spring cleaning missions, where we killed a lot of mutants around there. We even managed to kill, well, not us personally, but we managed to draw a chimera to the mercs, and they killed it. And we actually got a very good condition chimera hide, which will really help with our rupture, ballistic resistance, carry weight. And 20% stamina recovery, so that should be amazing. Unfortunately, we are broke. We are very low on uh, ammo as well. Uh, I did take these weapons thinking that I will take them with me, but I think I'll leave them here for now. Along with the artifacts, the next time we go back to that city, we will take them and put them in our base, and hopefully we'll manage to fix them. But we will see. For now, in this episode, I would like to go to the Wild Territory and do the anomalies over there. We also have some stashes to pick up, so that would be amazing. After which, I would like to head into Rostock, uh, grab some more missions around there. There's also a mission... Oh, never mind, this is an, ass an assassination mission that... Uh, we will not do, we picked up by mistake, there is a little bug with the task board in which it reverses the order of the missions, so when you accept the mission, it doesn't really take what you want. <laughs> um, right, so we'll pick up the artifacts in uh, Wild Territory, hopefully, and then we will end up in Rostock, after which, if we still have time, we'll go back to that city, or maybe garbage if we manage to get enough money to buy more ammo and meds. For now, if we are going to take these artifacts, we are going to need um, rad resistance because there's always going to be a lot of rads in these anomaly areas and we're still not doing very good with the rad resistance. So, um, yeah, let's, let's buy some anti-radiation drugs. I'm gonna have to sell something else for this. I'm not sure what. Maybe I'll just... Uh, I'm not sure which one is a quest item and which isn't. So not that, but I'll sell the glucose shot. Um, sell a couple of these. How much is a... Rad protectant? Will that be enough, though? Hmm. 26... 15%. Alright, I think I want one of... Yeah, but this is two uses, so let's just take this one. Okay. I think that will be enough. Hopefully, it will be enough. Other things I could sell is the Psy block, which does sell for a lot. Yeah, that, that will do. Perfect. Okay. So... Yeah, I think we are ready to go. Um, the other thing we could do is... Um, we do have food, we have some vodka. Um, I would like to fix our armor. Let me turn on the light here. Right, uh, 89%. I'm gonna need the duct tape. 2,300. Oh god, that's expensive. Um, yeah, that, that's gonna be okay. And uh, what else can we sell? Maybe a couple of these. We're very, very low on uh, on money. Sell this as well. And you know what? Can I sell something to you? I'll just... Uh, do that. And... Um, this is hard. Right, I'm gonna throw away all the vodka. We still have some cigarettes to clear rats. 
And I think that's gonna have to do. But I would rather have my armor um, up to full right now. And I'll also do this one, one tap. Because it will increase our rad resist just that that little bit more. Right, so we can start moving towards uh, wild territory. Uh, yeah, straight that way. And we're gonna go a bit slower because I don't want to accidentally walk into an anomaly. Right, while we're doing the walk, um, I'm just gonna say please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, leave a comment with uh, anything you would like to see me do this run or um, if you have any cool ideas for stuff that we, we could uh, we could cry. Okay, I did forget to check the missions here, so let's have a look at this. Uh, delivery in Cordon? No, but this we could do, it's to recover a, um, I think it's to recover a PDA or an, some equipment. Yeah, it's a prototype in Agroprom, so we can take that one. Okay, revenge killing, we can't do those and we don't really have anything to turn into these guys. So that's going to be it. And off we are to wild territory. Okay, here we are. Doing this at night is um, scary business, honestly. Because uh, wild can have some pretty, well, <laughs> wild <laughs> mutants. Uh, and I don't think I ever came here at night. Oh, I can already see an artifact. It looks like, uh, I think that's a sandstone. Let's run really fast after the fireball. As always, the tunnel, first two to the left, the next two to the right. Maybe not get burned. Right to the right, and this should be a safe spot. I'll get as low as possible. I'm not sure if it helps, but it makes me feel better. All right, and we're out. Now if we... Oh, hello there. Alright, they don't want an escort squad. Uh, they do want five of Beard's D, which uh, I will not give them. Oh, that thing's so scary. And of course, I, I hurt my leg in the anomaly pretty bad. Um, I think I'll just have to take some meds. Which is not the best since we're already low on them. Holster your shooter, damn it! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's holstered. Yeah, you want payment. I am so broke, I can't even afford to talk to you right now. Right, let's check the tasks. We should cover the mercenaries around here. There's even some ecologists. Um, <laughs> Package delivery to Zaton. No. But, um, we could do this. Kill some mutants in the wild territory. And they even gave us a couple of guys to help, which is amazing. Right, uh, that's it, I guess. Oh, that's, that's not good. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but I do hear whispers that way. They always go around the crane. There's a very bad electric anomaly there. Oh, 
Okay, I'm level with the stash. I'm pretty sure it's that one over there. Okay, I, I can hear a poltergeist and whispers. And there's the ecologists. You know what? I, I think if there's anything there, they will deal with it. And I can come in later and... Um, maybe loot whatever they killed. For now, let's take the stash here. There's only two reasons why there would be whispering. Either the controller... Oh! Oh, wow. Okay, this will help with uh, anomalies. But we have to get it fixed. Is it light armor? Mm, it's medium. But if we get home, we should be able to fix it up. Also, what does the sandstone do? Yeah, we would take 25% more damage, but for one copy we would have more movement speed. Not, not really a thing I would want right now. It, there's definitely some fighting over there. And we finished the the mutant hunt mission. <laughs> they're, they're still fighting. Okay, I'm going to go around. Um, hopefully avoid a lot of radiation. Um, I'm not going to turn in the mission yet. I, I would like my merc friends to come with me. I'm very low on ammo, so... Um, I'd prefer them to kill stuff in my place. Okay, so this anomaly right here is not through this tunnel. This tunnel exit actually... Well, it's it's uh, covered in rubble, but it actually has a different entrance. Um, somewhere to the north uh, west of uh, Wild. I'll actually show you. Let me just get up here. There's also usually mutants running around here, so that's why I'm advancing just very, very slowly. And of course, anomalies. Okay, and we'll go around the train. Still have batteries. So the flashlight should work. Okay, what is that? That's a Buer. I can't see him from here. Okay, let's let's. Whoa! I'd like to stay away from anything that can be used against me. I mean thrown, and I do think I have to get closer. He's not dead yet. Come on, drop the shield. All right, my, my guys got him. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna take a rad resist right now because we're starting to get into into anomalies. Uh, there's also a stash back here, so I'm gonna check on it real quick. There's more gunfire behind me. Uh, I think it's just the mercs fighting some mutant or other. Okay, here we are. Win the freedom. It's, it's not for us, but it did drop a little bit of money. Oh, 
a little bit of a lag spike there. Alright, so for the first anomaly, it's behind that fence right there. And oh boy, I'm already taking rats. Great. Uh, we do have two more matches, so I can probably start smoking right now. Okay, so up on the train, and there's always an electric anomaly between each of these uh, these uh, train wagons. So we're gonna jump, and from here we can actually jump straight down on the pipes. And souvenir. That's one of them. There's again a lot of rats. There's also a stash here with a lot of stuff I left behind last time when I died. There's one more an, um, artifact here, but I don't think we can uh, reach it. It's on the other side of the crane, most probably. Okay. Um, my headlamp's at 5%. I'm just going to swap the batteries right now. And restart it, because I've been near electric anomalies. Okay. So that was one of them. The next one will be behind the helicopter and into the tunnel. I still have two uses of my med kit. Also, um, yeah, uh, I, I was gonna say something about uh, one of the other de deaths I had. Um, when I didn't heal myself in time and I had Yadlin I could have indeed used the Yadlin it has a 1% health regeneration so that's that's good to remember I thought it only did post heals okay the other anomaly is right here and um, it's it's gonna be a nasty one because uh, our flashlight will probably go out and I forgot to bring a glow stick This, this sometimes we, we should remember to keep glow sticks on us at all times. I'm gonna ask my guys to wait here just because I don't want them getting in the way. We still have rad resistance. Oh, multi tool. And unfortunately, we're gonna have to restart our headlamp a lot of the time here. Okay, let me see how this goes. I always forget. Okay, climbing on top of things, always a good idea, and there's an artifact right there. Oh, I, I keep forgetting vaulting's a thing. Oh, that's a moon. We could probably get that. If we come from this direction. Okay. keep walking on the bars and stuff and there's the other one okay um let me think how do we do this i think we jump or we just run for it right not the best but um I don't remember if you could go around it. Maybe this way. Ish. Okay, luckily it didn't trigger a second time, but um It it worked out. Okay. Come on. Vault up. And again. And we keep to the cars over the little jeep and we're out right so those were the um wild territory anomalies um unfortunately we are out of meds again but we do have a couple of um 
Ooh, bleeding recovery and movement speed from dusk till dawn. We can actually use this right now. But we do have a couple of artifacts we can sell. And some mutant parts. Uh, so I think heading to Rostock is a good idea. And I will release the mercenaries right before we get there. Which way did I come in? Oh, I can see the anomaly right in front of me. Okay, so to the right. And through here. Okay, we're out. And let's get our guys to follow us. Okay, I should probably grab a bite to eat right now and uh, a little drink of water. Um, we don't have water, that's alright. Uh, let's see, to the right of the train. And kind of here, it's uh, always a no This electric anomaly almost always gets me. <laughs> yeah. Come on, headlamp. Work with me. Okay. We still have 39 seconds of rad resist, so I'm gonna do a little rush inside here. Uh, where's the stash? The stash should be up there. Uh, awesome. Um, yeah, this is useless to us right now, and so is this. I'll just disassemble it. But we got some gunsmithing tools, which we don't really need at the moment. So those will end up getting sold. And this is the origin of the Whispers. It was um, Arlix. And where there's one, there's always more. So let's uh, let's check around a bit and see where the others are. Maybe a dead scientist in there as well. Yeah, I'll take another rad resist. I do want to go just a little bit deeper into this tunnel, and it's very, very irradiated. Also, I hit the plant. Right? Uh, it seems there was just one Karlik, which is weird. These guys usually travel in packs. Right, we'll take the last of our, of our ibuprofen, and from here on out we can uh, use the Yadalin. Oh, another mark. No guns. Yeah, yeah, relax. No, he doesn't want escort squads. I mean, he doesn't want to be my escort squad. We'll, we'll get some more reputation with them and they will join. Maybe a trainee? Nope. Holster your sh Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. Nope, none of them want to join us. Okay, so at this point, I could probably f finish the mission here. <laughs> hey, escort squad, do you want to be an escort squad? Weapons hold. Okay, that's a little bit of money. They still don't want to join me. Okay, but we should be clear all the way to Rostock right now. So I'm just gonna make a run for it. Hopefully there's no more mutants. Uh, I'm gonna go around the truck because it's pretty heavily irradiated. And we're out. Okay, here we are in Rostock and I already heard a lurker. Here he comes! Okay, I would rather not get hit by the lurker. 
But if any of the duty guys gets it, nothing useful, really. Okay. Well, you know where, what I always say: where there's one, there's three of them. Oh boy! No, not me, please. Yeah, I, I need to be behind the wall. <laughs> to the dog as well. Wow. <laughs> well, they're all alive, sadly. But, uh, lurker parts. Never say no to lurker parts. Lurker parts are amazing. Okay, I'm gonna have to talk to a few duties, see if anyone wants to join up with, with us. Uh, we could really use companions right now. But it doesn't seem like it'll happen. In which case, let's uh, go to the mechanic first. See what we can sell to him. Oh, this looks so empty. This is usually where I make my base. Okay, um, what do we have? I am going to sell the gunsmithing tools. It's just... 545. I do need the 545 because I have an AK. Yeah, I think that's all we can sell. Still, it's a little bit of money. Um, that's going to be it. Okay, let's do a little mission search and see what we can do. Maybe we can turn in something. If we deliver the package to Agroprom, we can certainly do that. We will have, for the artifact mission, we will have to move back down to the Great Swamps. That's where the mission usually starts. So I will go to Agroprom and then Great Swamp. So I'll take the package. And Ecologist and Cordon, no. Okay, recover a PDA from Agroprom. We can also do that. Uh, basically, some free loot. Mutants in the garbage. Mutants in the Crux Cemetery. Okay. Let's see what we can take. So, garbage mutants, yes. Rock cemetery mutants, yes. <laughs> Skip all of these. Ah, it's it's only one mutant in Crux cemetery. Um, off the stalker. No, we will not do that. As for the others, maybe one of you wants lurker meat. I have lurker meat. Renegade faction patches, yes! Even though, as ecologists, it would be a very good idea, and bandit faction patches, it would be a very good idea to hold on to a lot of patches so we can play the, uh, the patch roulette um, at the mercenary. Oh, definitely not gonna give you my chimera hide. That's, that's a no-no. So yeah, uh, play the roulette at the, uh, the badge roulette or whatever at the um, mercenary leader because that does give artifacts and, um, well, artifacts are our job, aren't they? Okay, this guy is a guy that we're probably supposed to kill. Hopefully he'll leave Rothstark at some point and get himself killed or maybe we'll recruit him one day. But until then, let's just go down here. And we actually have two missions to turn in. The job is done, and we have a stash in the army warehouses and a night star. What condition, though? Ah, yeah, 20%. I have to put it in here, though. Okay, and one for the general.
Um, oh, yeah. Crackdown. It's it's uh, bandit patches. Uh, did we not take a renegade patch mission as well? Where's, where's that one? Um, oh, we really need water. Okay, well, we have some money. We can go to the bar and buy some. And then we're gonna have to come back to the medi medic and buy some, uh, some uh, meds. We don't have any PDAs, so we don't need to talk to the guy outside there. Turn off the light as well. Подходи, сталкер. Для таких, как ты, у меня всегда есть кое-что интересное. Здорово. Quick, I need water. Might have to buy another one. Oh, no, we're good. Okay, I'm gonna grab something to eat as well. Uh, I think I already looted everything here. Yeah, I I looted everything the last time I came by. <sighs> okay, doctor. Oh, finally, it's uh, it's starting to clear up. I mean, it's becoming morning. Uh, first, let's see what missions we have. So, we have a couple of things to do in uh, the army warehouses. I mean, just one, but it's only at night. So, that's not going to be available to us anymore. <sighs> also, it's going to be a bloodsucker. And I'm not keen on taking that on my own. That stash is currently completely unreachable. The helicopter does a lot of side damage around it. And we're not prepared for it. Other than that, we have... Uh, we could do the missions in garbage. There's a few missions in truck cemetery. Yeah, I don't think I want to go to Crux Cemetery right now. We're too limited on ammo. And finally, uh, where is the artifact mission? That's not right. Oh, the, the random light was uh, scaring me a bit. We artifacts from wild. Where's the third one? <sighs> Cause I don't actually remember. I we took that one, we took this one. And the last one is, uh, trying to think, I think it might be, um, in this, um, in this building right here, but I'm not sure. Um, I do remember it was in a warehouse, either this one or the big one. But we're gonna head back to wild. It's what we're gonna do. And then um, agroprom or garbage. So, doctor first. Gonna grab some med kits, then. Uh, Do you wanna join? No, he doesn't. Right. 
Right. Um, so we need these. And uh, we can afford... Can we afford it? We can't really afford it. Can I sell something to afford it? Not this one, the big one. Perfect. Okay, unfortunately, we still have no ammo. Just trying to scrounge up a little bit of uh, money to get some, even the littlest amount of, uh, of ammo. <sighs> and I think that's going to be it. Maybe we'll be able to afford another 15 rounds. No, здорово. Awesome. <laughs> uh, I'll keep the fire starter set. Do we have anything else we could sell here? I guess. <laughs> okay. So you Thanks, know what? Please. Let's let's finish what we started. Back to wild. <sighs> that's that's an emission. Make room. I'll just wait out the emission here. <sighs> okay, emission's done. And, um... Yep, yeah, let's, let's go to wild. It's already light outside. Should be pretty nice. <sighs> I don't think the missions have changed since uh, last night, did they? Actually, it, it does look like there's there are more missions now. <sighs> and we're back in wild territory. There was some item that bugged a little bit over there. But it's okay now. Oh, and it's actually early morning, so we can turn off the flashlight. Yeah, my, my guy's still hurting a little bit. Okay, I, I think my detector would have beeped if it was in here. So let's take our rad resist. So it's probably gonna be in here and I just uh, forgot about it or didn't notice. Not sure what these guys are fighting, but uh, I would like to loot whatever they... Uh... Hmm. 
<sighs> Pretty sure it was in one of these uh, depots. Could, could it be this one? No. <sighs> right, so there's gonna be a lot of heat anomalies in there. Oh. God, our armor is wrecked. Okay, let's not forget there is a toxic anomaly to the left. Um, was there another anomaly field behind the train? No. Pretty sure it's not in the house. No. Ugh. cards down there. That's gonna run with my detector out basically. Not, not much else I can do. <sighs> okay. Um... I have nothing to throw. Oh wow, that's a generator. Okay, we we made it out. We already picked the one that was here. Do 
is definitely something not okay happening. Because <clears throat> I I'm pretty sure it should have been one of those um in one of the most probably in the big um, warehouse right here. Um What I'm most scared of is that uh, this um, gravity anomaly just threw it out somewhere. Okay, there's one more thing I, I could maybe check, uh, and that is the tunnel. Pick up a sandstone over there. Oh, flashes. Also your shooter, damn it. Yep. If only I had the knife that shoots. <laughs> Please be in the tunnel. left now we can oh there we go there's definitely something here it's on this side right yes oh it's a nature so it's not the artifact we needed I am very confused. Okay, uh, if you guys have any idea where that artifact is... Because I vividly remember it being in uh, the big warehouse right here. This one. But we passed through it two or three times and there was no artifact so I'm thinking something must have happened to it um, and I know I finished these missions a few times I, I finished the artifact missions two or three times so there's definitely an artifact there somewhere Did I maybe pick it up and it got lost in a stash? Don't think so. Plus it would have been marked on the map. Um oh well. Uh let's let's just go to garbage and uh, see what we can do there. <laughs> All right, we are in garbage, and um, I have a little confes confession. Uh, between uh, loading times, I did uh, check out because I, I was very confused where the hell that artifact is, and yeah, it turns out I picked it up on one of my earlier runs through. Um, in one of my earlier runs to wild territory and it should be in uh, in Yantar. So first of all I'm gonna go straight south and search this stash right here.
But on the way... Right, there, there were some key binding issues there. Also, I heard cats that way, which is a little scary, and I can already see an artifact. Okay, we can just get a bit lower, and the tapeworm. Can we get it without... Okay. We got the tapeworm. Also, um, I do know this stash was empty last time. Still is. Awesome. So that's probably gonna stay there forever. Okay. Oh, it's coming. Seriously? We do need bandages for that bleed. And with that, we might as well take one ibuprofen. Where's the third one? That's one, that's two, and... Oh, this is the third one, okay. Alright, so, coming back, yeah, uh, the artifact is actually in, in the stash in Yantar. <laughs> I, I panicked for no reason. Uh, okay, we do have some mutant parts, and I'm gonna go sell those to Butcher. Not all of them, but um, enough to get a little bit of ammo, at least. So... Cat thyroids, boar feet, cat claws. Just uh, things that uh, we will get a lot of in time. I'm gonna sell and... Uh... Okay, that, that will help a little bit. Okay, so yellow stash first. Actually... How bad are the missions in Agroprom? We've got find a soldier, recover a prototype. That's going to be on a mutant probably. Kill mutants, retrieve documents. That's a turn in. And then uh, mm, this leads to Agroprom again, except here. Now let's let's do the stash first, and then we come back up. But I might go back to Agroprom, but I think at this point we're going to end the episode right here. Um, so to do a quick recap, we did manage to um, get the artifacts in wild territory. Uh, we finished a couple of missions, we grabbed some meds from Rostock along with some bullets, went back to Wild looking for the third artifact that we missed, but it turns out it's in the stash in uh, Yantar. And then we came to Garbage to finish the missions here. There's also a stash here that I want to pick up, and you know what? I'm not going to leave you guys hanging, I will run really fast and pick up the stash <laughs> right now. I'm also kind of curious what's in there. And uh, we'll end the episode at the stash. Because <laughs> um, I, I don't want to leave you guys on a cliffhanger. There's one thing I hate, it's a cliffhanger. 
I mean, between episodes it's alright, but uh, when someone ends the show on a kill cliffhanger, I, I just want to stop watching it. No one here. Right. SKS, but um, bad. Tourist jacket, we don't care. And this is actually better than this. 82, 28, 95, 20, 7 chem, 10 rad. Hmm. Uh, oh, and we also got a, uh, a drug making kit, which is amazing. Okay, let's compare these two really fast, because... Uh, So orange one's a bit better with electrical. And a bit worse with everything else. Oh, didn't wanna do that. Both medium armor. So we're we'll probably fix the red suit. Just because it's better all around. And that will make us an artifact hunting machine later. <laughs> we will still have to carry two sets of armors with us just because uh, we still need good rupture and ballistic resistance for everyday use. And since we're here, I might actually go check for some artifacts uh, over there. Uh, but that will be next episode. Until then, I hope you enjoyed. And as always, I'll see you all next time.